Hi everyone, welcome to my green closet. So today we're gonna to talk about how to contact brands for more information. And this is really important because there's often a lack of transparency and questions come up when you're trying to research how sustainable and ethical brands are. So first of all, don't be intimidated to message brands. The worst case scenario is they just don't reply, which sometimes can even be a bit of an answer. And the more you do it, the easier it'll be. And you can even have templates to make it super fast. So before contacting a brand, the first thing you should do is see what they're saying. So read their about page, any CSR information, any pages that talk about their materials or manufacturing. So you can decide what kinds of things you'd like more information about. Or if there's no information available, then you can send a general message asking for more information. I try to stick to a few rules when contacting brands. So I try to keep it positive and polite. I definitely don't accuse them of anything or talk about what they're doing wrong because that isn't a great way to start a conversation. And also remember that the person you're reaching out to is likely just a customer service employee and doesn't have all of this information and you're asking for their help, so be respectful. I also think it's important to keep the message to the point because I don't wanna waste my time or theirs. And kind of along with this, I also try to keep each message to a maximum of three questions because if you send a huge list of questions, that can be really overwhelming and annoying and you likely won't get answers to all your questions and you also likely won't get as informative of responses. So if I was emailing a brand where there was no information available, and as a side note, that already is kind of a red flag to me because if a brand has zero information on their sustainability or ethics, I assume that they're really not doing that much. But let's say this is a brand you really like and you recently learned about some of the issues in fashion and you want to decide if you should keep supporting them. I would send them a message something like this. Hi, I'm a fan of your brand, or if you were a customer, definitely say that too, or say something that you like about them. I've been learning more about the ethical and environmental impact of fashion, and I'm trying to support more responsible brands. I couldn't find any information on your website about your sustainability or ethics. Could you please let me know where I might find that information, or could you tell me more about any policies or standards you have for responsible manufacturing? Thanks. Now, I always think you can tell a lot based on how brands respond. So brands that are open and willing to share more information is a good sign. But if you get responses that are really vague and they're not answering your questions or willing to provide more information, that to me is a red flag. So as another example, let's say you found a brand that has some information online or they responded back with some information. Like I've said in many other videos, it's really important to know what your top priorities are. So do you care about fair pay, sustainable materials, reducing waste, or something else? Reading over the information they provide, what's the top question or couple of questions that come up for you? And that's gonna be what you focus your message around. So let's say ethical manufacturing is important to you and you found a brand and all they say is they responsibly manufacture in China. So my first question would be, well, what does responsibly mean to them? And I would want some clear examples of things they do. And my message would go something like this. Hi, and I'd always start off by saying something nice about them, usually that I like their clothes and that I'm interested in their product. Then you can say, I saw on your website that you care about manufacturing in a responsible way. Could you please provide more information about what this means for your company? I'd love to know more about your standards around fair wage and factory safety. So wage and safety are the two big ones for me when it comes to ethical manufacturing because I feel like those are the kind of base of ethical manufacturing. Again though, this is just a short friendly email asking for more information and we can see what the response is like. Something that's important to remember though is the size of the brand often does depend on the kind of response you get. So smaller brands tend to be more knowledgeable about their supply chain and the ins and outs of the company. Whereas if you reach out to a large brand, you're typically just talking to a customer service rep who doesn't have experience in the areas you're asking about. And they'll often most likely direct you to some CSR report, which can be really helpful, but often with some patients, you can hopefully get more information from them. But again, it will depend on the company. And remember that you can always ask for clarification or for more information if your question isn't really answered or if other questions come up. I think sometimes people think that they send an email, they get a response and that's it. So you have to ask everything in that first email. And sometimes you will get the answers and the information that you want, but quite often it's a bit longer and more of a back and forth. 
There are a lot of different ways you can approach brands, but this is how I like to start conversations. It's quick and easy, and I think it's more productive if you keep it friendly and short, instead of accusing brands or sending a huge list of questions, which tends to start it off on a bit of a negative foot. I think quite often we can sometimes feel really passionate or maybe be kind of angry at companies, but put yourself in the position of the person receiving the message and think about if that's the kind of message that you would want to respond to. I hope this video is helpful. It's really just a quick and easy thing to just send a message and ask brands for more information. And I'd love to know how you typically approach brands and what kinds of questions you ask. Thank you for watching and thank you so much those of you supporting me on Patreon and I'll see you in the next one.